This video will demonstrate the assembly steps for the SOARM 101. The SOARM 100 can also refer to this video for assembly. First, assemble the follower arm. Materials preparation. 3D printed parts for the follower arm. Servo accessory kit matching the follower arm. First, take out the base and servo number one. Plug the connecting wires into the two ports of servo number one. Then insert the servo number one into the cavity in the middle of the base and fix the servo with pointed screws. Install the servo horns of servo number one. The servo horn with gears is installed at the top and the servo horn without gears is installed at the bottom, trying to keep the servo horn's direction positive. Install the base motor bracket. Take out the base motor bracket and put it on the base and secure it with screws on both sides. Thread one wire of the number one servo out of the middle port of the base and place the other wire in the wire groove. Install the shoulder. Clamp the shoulder along the inner sliding position at both ends of the number one servo. The holes at both ends of the shoulder should coincide with the holes on the servo horns, and the ends should be fixed with flat head screws. Install the shoulder motor bracket. Load into servo number two with screws on both ends. Then insert the connection line into the port of the servo. Install the servo horns of servo number two, trying to keep the servo horns direction as positive as possible. Install the upper arm. Align the upper arm along the inner slide and secure it to the servo horns from the side with the wire slot of the upper arm on the same side as the wiring harness. The holes at both ends of the upper arm should align with the holes on the servo horns, and both ends are fixed with screws. Install servo motor number three and connect the servo cable. Install the servo horns on both ends. Secure the servo with screws. Install the forearm. Align the forearm along the inner slide and secure it to the servo horns. The holes at both ends of the forearm should align with the holes on the servo horns, and both ends are fixed with screws. Install elbow motor bracket. Insert the number four servo and fix both ends with screws. Connect the servo cable. Install the servo horns of servo number four. Install the wrist bracket. Then slide it along the track and secure it onto the servo horns and fix both ends with screws.
Connect the cable to servo number 5. Thread the connecting cable of servo number 4 through the wrist bracket and attach it to servo number 5. Adjust the cable's position to avoid damage when inserting it into the servo. Install servo number 5. Insert the gear side first, with gears facing upward. Secure the servo with screws. Install the servo horn with gears. Do not install the one on the other side of the servo. Install the follower wrist and secure it with five screws. Install servo number six and secure both ends with screws. Attach the servo horns. Install the follower gripper. Slide it into the servo horn along the slot, then secure both ends with screws. Mount the driver board onto the driver board bracket. Clip it onto the base motor bracket via the square component on the back, then connect the servos to the driver board bracket. A wire was missed here, please connect it to servo number 6. Now the assembly of the follower arm is complete. This is the assembly tutorial for the leader arm. Materials preparation, 3D printed parts for the leader arm, servo accessory kit matching the leader arm. The assembly steps from the base to the wrist bracket are the same as those for the follower arm. Differences start from the wrist component. Attach the leader wrist to the servo horn of servo 5 with screws. Install servo number 6 and secure both ends with screws. Attach the servo horn. Then connect the servo cable. Install the leader trigger and secure it with screws. You can skip installing the servo horn on the opposite side of the trigger. If you do install it, make sure to fasten it with screws, otherwise it may easily fall off. Install the leader joystick. Mount the driver board onto the driver board bracket. Clip it onto the base motor bracket via the square component on the back, then connect the servos to the driver board bracket. Now the assembly of the leader arm is complete.